Hello everyone, this is Professor Vijay Sekhat from the Science Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to discuss Unit number 4, 3D Concept and Object Representation. Out of this whole topic, first 3 is covered in our previous video. Now next topic is Cubic Spline Interpolation Method in which we are having 4 representation. Out of this 4, first 2 will be discussed in this video and second 2 will be in the next video. Now Cubic Spline Interpolation Methods. First of all, cubic spline are mostly used for representing a path of moving object or existing object shape or drawing purpose. It is also used for designing object shapes. It gives a reasonable computation as compared to higher order spline. As we, if we are going to take a higher order spline, then we need to solve a higher order equation and it will require a more computation power at the same time it is more stable as compared to a lower order polynomial spline so it is often used for modeling concept if we are going to use a lower order spline then we can save a computation power but it will not give us uh, that much a smooth and quality output and that's why a cubic spline is a reasonable choice and that is a trade off between computation power and output quality it is obtained by fitting the input points with a piecewise cubic polynomial curve that passes through every control point here we are having total n n plus 1 control point starting from p0 to pn now a parametric cubic polynomial for a curve is given by x of u is equals to ax u cube plus bx u square plus cx u plus dx it is generalized equation and it can be same for a y and z also where u value is vary from 0 to 1 for above equation we need to determine for a constant a b c and d a polynomial representing for each of a n cow sec n cow section as we know that we are having n plus 1 control point so total number of cow section will be n and for each curve section we will require a 4 constant to be fine so total number of constant will be 4 into n that is 4n constant we need to find this is obtained by setting proper boundary condition at the joints and common method for setting these conditions are natural cubic spline, hermit interpolation, cardinal spline and cochinic butter spline in which out of this 4 first 2 will be covered in this video and next 2 will be in a next video first one is natural cubic spline a natural cubic spline is a mathematical representation of original drafting spline in which if we are having total number of n p0 to p n control point that is n plus 1 control point and total curve section will be n curve section that is first is p0 to p1 second is p1 to p2 and up to, up to p n we consider that curve is in a C2 continuity. That means that first order and second order derivatives of the curve section at an intermediate point will be same. That means a first order derivative of this curve section at this point and this curve section at this point will be same. Similarly, second order derivative of this curve section at this point and this curve section at this point will be same. For the n plus 1 control point, we have n curve section and 4n polynomial constant to find. As we have discussed earlier that we have n plus 1 control points and total number of curve section will be n and for each curve section we require a 4 constant to find. So total number of constant will be 4n. Now for all intermediate control points we have 4 boundary conditions. First will be the two curve sections on either side of a control point must have same first order and second order derivative as I already told you that at this point first order derivative and second order derivative of this particular two curve section must be same and second two points that is a first point of this first, sorry last point of this curve section must be this and starting point of this curve section must be this so total four condition can be obtained for all intermediate point each curve passes through the for, uh, that control point so we'll get other two condition that p0 must be a starting point of the curve and second condition that is pn must be ending point of the curve so total for all intermediate we have four conditions so total intermediate points will be total points minus two because first point and last point are not 
intermediate points so total points n minus 1 n plus 1 and total intermediate points that is n plus 1 minus 2 that is n minus 1 so n minus 1 into 4 condition that can be easily find out and that is a 4 4 into n minus 1 and other two condition that is a uh, p0 is a starting point and pn is a ending point so we'll have 4 into n minus 1 plus 2 now then also we will require two extra condition to solve this equation and that two extra coefficient extra condition can be find out by one approach is set up a second order derivatives that is p at p0 and pn that means for a first control point and the last control point second order derivatives to be set equals to zero that is one of the possible approach a second approach maybe we can add a dummy point at uh, before the first point and after the last point in that case all the points are interior points and we can able to get a four con condition for each control point so we can easily solve this equation although it is a mathematical model model it has a major disadvantage is which it cannot control a part of the curve or it cannot allow local control what it means that we cannot modify only certain part of the curve if you are going to change uh, if a single control point then also it will affect all curve position of a all curve so a local control cannot be possible in this natural cubic spline a second representation that is a hermit interpolation named after french mathematician charles hermit it is a interpolating piecewise cubic polynomial with a specified tangent at each control point adjusted locally as each cow section is depends on its end points only here it is specified and we are going to solve this equation that that each cow section is depends on on only on that cow sections end points only so it can be adjusted locally so we can modify a part of the curve and other part may be not affected due to this part so this will allow local control a parametric cubic point function for a, any curve section is given by here we are going to take a parametric equation p0 is equals to pk p1 that is pk plus 1 p dash of 0 that is first order derivative we are denoting it with a dpk and first order derivative at 1 first one that is dpk plus 1 where dpk and dpk plus 1 are value of parametric derivatives at points pk and pk plus 1 respectively what will uh, here uh, what here we are specifying that a first point of that curve section that is equals to pk and last point of that curve section that is equals to pk plus 1 derivatives at first point and derivatives at second point we will going to specify here we are taking a notation dpk and dpk plus 1 now we will going to solve this equation a vector equation of a cubic spline that is p of u is equals to a u cube plus b u square plus c u plus d and parametric equation that is x and y x y and z component separately then it will convert it into x u cube plus b x u square plus c x u plus d x and similarly for y and z components now we are going to use this equation we are going to find the value in terms of matrix that if that is a p of u if you are going to represent this equation in this matrix in which we are going to separate a b c d constant as a column matrix and all other as a row matrix if we are multiply these two matrix we will get the same equation now it is a p of u so instead of u for first we are putting u is equals to 0 we will get p of 0 second time we will put p is equals to 1 we will get p of 1 so if you are putting u is equals to 0 we will get 0 0 0 and 1 if we will put u is equals to 1 we will get p of 1 is equals to 1 1 1 and 1 now we are going to take a derivatives of this equation that p dash of u derivative of a u cube that is equals to 3 a u square here we are taking 
3 AU square plus B B U square derivatives of B U square will be 2 B U. Similarly, here only constant term C and derivatives of constant term will be 0. Now we are going to transfer this equation in a matrix form. We are taking A B C D constant term as a column matrix and we are taking this particular matrix as a 3 a 3 u square plus 2 u plus 1 into 0 now if you are going to multiply this equation we'll get same equation from this equation we'll get two different row first one is p dash of 0 that is we are going to put value of u is equals to 0 then we'll get p dash of 0 and that time we'll get 0 0 1 0 next time we'll go we'll going to put value of u is equals to 1 and then we'll get a p dash of 1 that is equals to 3 2 1 and 0 then we'll get two value from here and two value from here and total four value and we are going to combine this in a matrix form we'll get a total matrix that is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 and 3 2 1 0 as I already explained how this matrix is comes. Now we'll require this matrix as a subject. So we'll transfer this matrix in a opposite side. And for that we are taking inverse of this matrix and transfer it into opposite side. This inverse you can calculate by any method whichever you like. Now this matrix is represented with a MH because it is known as Hermit matrix and we are going to put a value of this ABCD matrix in our standard P of U matrix equation that is P of U is equals to U cube U square U into 1 into ABCD but instead of ABCD we are going to put this value and now we are going to multiply this equation this matrix with the this one it will give me this output and then again multiply this matrix with the, this one we will get equation for matrix uh, Armit with a hermit blending function in which we are separating pk pk plus 1 dpk and dpk plus 1 and all other terms will be put in a bracket because that terms is known as blending function and that is represented with h of h h of u h0 of u h1 of u h2 of u and h3 of u that is hk of u is equals k is equals to 0 1 2 3 are referred as a blending function because a blend the boundary constraint value for a cow section that is also known as hermit blending function but a hermit curves are used in a digitizing application where we input the approximate curve slope means dpk and dpk plus 1 because here dpk and dpk plus 1 are required and we need to give approximate value of that particular dpk and dpk plus 1 if that value cannot be possible to give, it, it is not possible to give value of dpk plus dpk and dpk plus 1 at that time that hermit interpolation can be used thank you that's it keep learning keep watching have a nice day